In this slide, we are going to multiply poly polynomials by using the horizontal and the vertical method. In the horizontal method, I'm going to rewrite my polynomials as 2x, which is the first term of my second polynomial, times 4x squared plus x minus 5, and then plus 1 times 4x squared x squared plus x minus 5. So basically I am using the distributive property for the 2x, for the 2x, and then after then for the 1. Then I'm going to combine like terms. So I have 8x to the third plus 2x squared minus 10x plus 4x squared plus x minus 5. And if I combine like terms, I have 8x to the third power. Then I have 2x squared and 4x squared, which will give me 6x squared. Then I have negative 10x and x, which will give me negative 9x. And lastly, I have negative 5. When I'm using the vertical method, I am going to multiply similarly um, to the previous method. First, I am going to choose my x and multiply every term by the x of my top polynomial. So I get 2 times x to the third x times 2x squared, then x times negative x is negative x squared, and x times 3 is 3x. Then after then, I'm going to choose my 2 and multiply everything by the 2, and I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm lining up my like terms. So 2 times 2x squared is 4x squared. 2 times negative x is negative 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. So all I have to do now is add up the like terms. So my answer is 2x to the third plus 3x squared plus x plus 6. We can use our area model for multiplication. And I have a 3x3 three three box because I have three terms in each of my polynomials. So I'm going to say x to the third minus 2x to the second plus 5. And on the side I have x squared plus x minus 2. So I start filling in the terms x squared times x to the third is x to the fifth power. x squared times negative 2x squared is negative 2x to the fourth power. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. Then I have x times x to the third is x to the fourth power x times negative 2x squared is negative 2x to the third power. x times 5 is 5x. And lastly, I have negative 2 times x to the third, which is negative 2x to the third. And negative 2 times negative 2x squared is 4x to the second. And negative 2 times 5 gives me negative 10. So... All I have to do now is list my terms and, of course, combine my like terms. So if you notice that x to the fifth is by itself as well as the number is by itself. But then if I look at the diagonals, x to the fourth and negative 2x to the fourth or negative 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed are like terms, then I have the 4x squared and the 5x squared as like terms and the 5x is going to be showing up on its own. 
So when I list the terms, I get x to the fifth power. Then I have negative x to the fourth power, negative 4x to the third power. Then I get 9x to the second power, plus 5x minus 10. In this next slide, we are going to do two steps since we have to multiply three binomials. So first we do x minus 2 and x minus 1 and get x squared negative 2x negative x and 2. And I'm going to have as an answer x squared minus 3x plus 2 for the multiplication of the first two binomials. And that's the answer I will write in the top row. So I get x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then my last binomial is my x plus 3, and that's what goes to the side. So I get x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x. And here I have 3x squared minus 9x plus 6. So my last final answer will be x cubed. The x squared are positive 3x squared and negative 3x squared, so they go away. Then I have subtract 7x and add 6. So that's going to be the final answer to this problem. In the next problem, we need to use the special patterns. We can see that this is the differences of two terms and the sum of the exact same two terms, which I, if I apply my special pattern, will give me the differences of squares. So it will give me 9x squared minus 4. In this last slide, we are going to use some other special patterns. For the first one, I have the square of a sum. So if I use my special pattern, it will equal to 25a to the second power plus 2 times 5a times 2 plus 4, which at the end gives me 25a squared plus 20a plus 4. And the last special pattern is going to be the cube pattern, which I have to apply. So if you recall it from the previous slides, when we apply the cube pattern, we have a minus b to the third power will give me a cubed minus 3a squared b plus 3 a b squared minus b cubed. In my case, a is going to be 2m and b is going to be 3. So if I use my pattern or apply my pattern, I will have 2m to the third power minus 3 times 2m times 3 plus 2m squared times 3 plus 3 times 2m times 3 squared and then minus 3 to the third power. So if I simplify everything, I get 8m to the third power, then I have 2m to the second, that's 4m squared, times 3 is 12, times 3 is 36m to the second power. Then I have 3 times 2m, which is 6m, times 9m, which will give me 54m, and the last term will give me minus 27. 
So this is if I am applying my pattern. Of course, I could have also applied my plain multiplication and said 2m minus 3 times 2m minus 3 times 2m minus 3, but it will be much more time-consuming than using our pattern. 